Uh, members had her four calls. Um, I call uh, Chris Hipkins. Thank you, Mr Chair. I'll, I'll have a go. Mr Chair, the, the purposes of this Act, I'm very happy to take a call on part one of the patents bill, and I'm sure that Mr Hennady, who seems to be so amused over there, I'm sure he's, uh, just, he's just preparing his thoughts, preparing his thoughts on what he wants to say on the patents bill, because after all, it was a Labour bill that's been sitting on the order paper, but it's been around here now for five years, five years due to the inefficiency of this government, so completely hopeless that they are, that after five years of being in government, they've suddenly decided that they need to progress it under urgency. Five years since the Labour government introduced this, possibly longer, and then uh, finally they bring it forward and allow it to be introduced. Uh, Mr Henry asked me, does the Labour Party support this bill? Yes, yes. The Labour Party does support the bill. The Labour Party does support the bill. But it's actually a very important issue. It's a very important issue. It's a very thick bill. The debate on this, I'm sure, the, the debate on this is going to go on for quite some time, quite some time, I'm sure, with all of the significant amount of content that there is here in the patents bill. So uh, let's have a look at what the purposes are. So we turn, we turn now to the purpose clause for Mr Henari's uh, benefit. Uh, that would be clause number three. Uh, the purpose of this Act... And I, what does it say? Oh, I'm happy to enlighten the member. I'm very happy to enlighten the member. I'm, I'm sure I can read it to him faster than he can read it for himself. So the, purpose, the purposes of this Act are to provide an efficient and effective patent system. What was that? No, I didn't. I was busy talking. I was too busy talking. Oh, no, I didn't. But, uh, but look, he's welcome to repeat himself. He, it's something I know that he's, I know he's very familiar with repeating himself. He's welcome to do so. So the purpose of the patents bill is to promote, oh sorry, to provide an efficient and effective patent system that promotes innovation and economic growth while providing an appropriate balance between the interests of inventors and patent owners and the interests of society as a whole. That's incredibly important. It's a very important balancing act. It's an important balancing act for Mr Hinari. I know that balancing is something that he has a great deal of difficulty with these days. Very, very great deal of difficulty. Complies, complies with New Zealand's international obligations. Well, that's not something that Mr Henare is at all interested in, complying with New Zealand's international obligations. But that is something that, is something that I think is important. Now, if we, move to, if we move to A, if we move to A now, 3A, it says that it uh, marks the purposes of the bill. It's about ensuring that a patent is granted for an invention only in appropriate circumstances by establishing appropriate criteria for the granting of a patent and providing for procedures that allow the validity of the patent to be tested. What was that? Oh, come on, that's not, a re that's not relevant to this debate. That's not relevant to this debate. I tell you what, I tell you what, I tell you what, Mr Hennady, he, he should be patented because he's clearly one of a kind. He's clearly one of a kind. I don't think I have ever found a member quite like Mr Hennady in this House. We should be quite grateful for that. We should patent, we should patent Mr Hennady and then make sure that there is a clear restriction that no more are to be produced, that no more are to be produced after, after that particular point in time. So anyway, we're getting into, getting into the uh, further further detail of the, of the patents bill. This, this bill is, of course, a, a, as I mentioned, it is a bill introduced by the Labour Party. Um, we will support it unless our supplementary order paper is voted down, unless our supplementary order paper is voted down, uh, because it can be added to the long list of improvements uh, to the business and, business and regulatory environment that were made by the previous Labour government, because, of no, course, we were actually interested in uh, improving the business regulatory environment rather than this government here, who don't seem to be... Uh, they've talked about cutting red tape a lot. Actually, the only red tape that they're interested in cutting is the stuff that their mates want to get rid of. They're not actually interested in protecting consumers and protecting New Zealanders. Uh, it attempts to balance in the, uh, the interests of the innovators uh, and the, those make, uh, to, who should be uh, entitled to make a profit from their inventions. I think that's quite Quite important, but also we have to look at the, uh, at the uh, interests of society as a whole. And I think there is a general view that the existing patent law is too generous uh, for those people who are seeking access to patents. And too many corporations end up getting monopoly rights. So, in a way, I'm surprised that the national government are progressing this legislation because, of course, we know that this government's priority is the top 10 per cent, the people who are more likely to, have, to be able to access the patent rights rather than the rest of society. So I'm pleased and I want to congratulate the government that they're actually taking a very positive step now in making sure that society's interests are balanced against the interests of those who might be able to access access the monopoly rights to patent. So 
overall, I think this bill has a lot of merit, and I'm looking forward to the rest of this debate. Um, the Honourable Trevor Mallard. Chairman, I'd like to start off with uh, absolutely disagreeing with oh. my...